Guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Optical Flow in Final Cut Pro X. And this is actually a super cool effect that's really easy to do, that slows down your footage past the point that it's normally meant to be slowed down to. So, for example, I'm going to drag in this shot right here. It's better if your footage is shot at 60 frames per second because it'll make it slower in the final result and look overall better. The first thing you need to do is choose where you want the footage to slow down. So, I'm going to just start around here. Then you want to split your clip here and go forward about five frames. Then once you're there, split it again. Then click on the selection you just removed. It should be really short, only about 0.05 seconds. So now once you have your clip selected, go up to the time dial here and go down to custom speed. And now you wanna make it really slow. I usually do around 3%. So now if you play it back, you can see it's super terrible. There's only a frame every half second or so. So you need to fix this. And this is where optical flow comes in. So you click on your clip, go back up to the time place, down to video quality, and hit optical flow. Now what it's going to do is analyze and blend the frames together. And so now as you can see, it's already done. If you play it back, it looks super awesome, crazy slow motion without actually being filmed in super slow motion. And if you want to make the effect even better, what you can do is click at the beginning, go back to the time place, and go to speed ramp to 0%. And if you zoom in here, you want to delete the little end part here, so last 0.01 second, just delete that. Click on it again here, go up to the top, video quality, optical flow, and then at the end, do the same thing, but in the other way, speed ramp from 0%. Zoom in, get rid of that little stop at the end, click it again, go up and hit optical flow. So once this is all done, you'll get a really smooth transition from regular speed to slow motion back out again. So although this effect is super easy, in the right situations it can work very well. However, it doesn't work in every situation. If something's falling, it'll look really glitchy and terrible. So you want the object that you're slowing down to be preferably in front of you and in front of a blank background like sky or a wall or something like that. And that gives you the best results. So anyway, once you've done these few things, you can get some great shots. Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.